Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Ah! Mama Squeak falling off of my hand. She's uh, a bit wild. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to have to put her into her cage before she takes a, a bad plunge and falls to the floor. She's a silly goose. Pretty wild. It is 6.52 a.m. Thursday, the 19th of October, and my brain is still semi-failing. I have discovered just how much the uh, stress of what's going on, just not with, I mean, there's a lot of stress in what's happening in my life with stuff that's happening in my life, but then with my mother having cancer surgery where they removed two lobes of her left lung and then it was more invasive than they thought so they had to take out more lymph nodes and it's, it's not bad my she's up and walking everything's fine so far so it's good and hopefully Friday we get word back from pathology so hopefully they've gotten it all and then hopefully it's not you know not caught in time so that's a good thing but just the normal stresses of what's happening in my life added with the stresses of what's going on with my parents and then not having fully recovered from the death of my wife yet and it's all come to a crashing halt inside of my head. I'm still having difficulty processing things right now. I didn't think... I've done a lot better in my recovery from the death of my wife than I thought I had. I care about my appearance. I, I dress well in stuff that actually fits. I got rid of all the stuff, well, 90% of the stuff that doesn't fit, I got rid of. So I wear clothing that looks like, you know, I'm not wearing circus tents. So that's a good thing and I, I wear yeah, you know, I've got some pants that I've bought, you know, like within the past year and some. So they're good jeans, and I don't look bad. So because I, I've been taking care of my my appearance, I keep my hair trimmed so that it's not like it was uh, like two years ago when it was almost like shoulder length, and my beard was huge and scraggly, and I've come a long way but it's how much I haven't piled up with all these new stressors and it all just rolled over the top of me yesterday really, really hard. My apologies. Part of what happened emotionally was I had gotten built up onto the heights of joy is a good word, which is my... Uh, untreated bipolar disorder it doesn't help anything but I had gotten a new 27 inch monitor at the post office and then that combined with the new PC controller was like wham heights of elation I was extremely happy and then as I went on further I discovered that I was an idiot and this monitor I put onto the wish list was something I can't even use. And so I'm talking with the person that sent it to me to try and get it to something that I can. Because I really I was having an existential breakdown on the day that I chose the monitor to put onto the wish list because I just needed something and I didn't know what to do and because I was not having a, a good mental time at that point. And as it turned out, that lack of research just came up and bit me from behind. It's only got one form of video input. It's the cable, the 15-pin cable that goes into the back of your computer and the 15-pin cable that goes into the back of the monitor. That's it. No HDMI, nothing else. There's no headphone jack. It's got a separate audio input so that the speakers blare. And it's... 
that's it's just a lighter form of the Sony Bravia, and I can't use the Sony Bravia because it doesn't have a headphone jack. So my having an existential breakdown and, and just throwing the first thing I could find made it so that built up and then crash and boom. And then the controller, unfortunately, when I took the controller out of the box and went to play with it, the left bumper is 95 to 97% already smushed in. You go click, click on everything. Every other button is click, click, click. You try that and it's mush a little bit and it barely it's like I say this one goes click and comes all the way back out and this one's already there and goes mush and if you can get the contact to connect it doesn't stay there while you're playing so you really have to struggle to use the bumper and the bumper is used in so many things so I don't know who sent it but I can't use it. The manufacturer sent me a broken one. Not your fault, but I don't have a receipt, so I, I can't make a return, and I'd hate for you to have wasted your money. And with the monitor, we're getting that worked on. So it was just the emotional buildup and then crash with my mother just having her lungs removed which it's not her lungs removed, it's, you know, two-thirds of one of her lungs removed. And then still not recovered from the death of my wife, which is a process that may take, I may not ever recover before the day I die. I mean, it's hard to say. But all these things crashed into the perfect storm that it took me down yesterday, and it took me down hard. I think I've also got a bug coming on, or it was a 24-hour thing, because I just didn't feel right physically either all day yesterday. So I, I, there may be that component. I don't know. Thumbs up. Past that, uh, just sort of wanted to say, I'm sorry I just went, um, my apologies. I might even edit that out to make myself look, make my smelf, to make myself look better. But, in the 1930s and 1940s, there was a lot of science fiction written about dystopian futures where capitalism had run rampant, had become cancerous. I fully believe that unregulated capitalism has the huge tendency to become cancerous. We are experiencing that now in the world. Ca unregulated capitalism is vastly cancerous. But they wrote stories as many ways it was just, oh, I need money, here's a quick idea, bam, 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 send it in. But other people, it was like, that's a real worry. And the unregulated cancerous capitalism where people were just manipulated beyond their will. No control. At one point, one character in one story was having to run for his life, but he was an advertising executive on the run. And he was inside of a store and he needed to get up and make some purchases quickly. And to get the people out of the way, he remembered, oh, there was this product that we had to recall from the market because it kept killing people. But everyone loved that. And so he mentioned, boy, you know, I think I saw some of that stuff in the back of the store. And even though people knew, hey, if I eat that, I'm probably going to die. It was like, it's back there. They got some of that. That was good tasting stuff. And then they left. So he got them quicker. That's the sort of thing we've got. Activision's patent to manipulate people, to make them buy things, is evil. Manipulating people. It even sounds slimy in the patent thing with the word saying, you know, to make things, to make their uh, purchase appear to be a good investment. To make it appear to have been a good choice. Not that they made a good choice, no but that to them, it appears they made a good choice. When you're deliberately matching noobs against 
pros so that after the noob gets owned by this one gun, you go, hey, there's this gun you can buy. It's the one that did gotcha. And then after you buy it, why wouldn't you? It deliberately puts you against people who are noobs compared to you so that you feel better stomping on them so that you appear to feel more powerful. That's slimy to the max. And this is where capitalism is going. Unregulated capitalism is cancerous and it's on the way. I fear already, well, I don't fear anymore. I've given up hope for the AAA gaming industry. And I say that sadly because I remember, because I bought my first computer in 1982, it was a VIC-20 by Commodore, which I quickly turned in for a Commodore 64, but then you know, I stuck with a Commodore 64 until I bought an Amiga 500, and then I went from there in 1993, I bought my first IBM PC compatible, and from then I've just stuck with all these things. I've watched the game industry come from buying cartridges for your two kilobytes of RAM home computer to play a game to what it is now. I remember when Electronic Arts was a collection of electronic artists that they had huge ads just showing the people that worked at Electronic Arts and saying we're the artists and electronic artists. And now they've just turned Electronic Arts has just become a you know, studio killing monstrosity of big business, making billions on microtransactions, and so now killing single player games because single player games, you only sell it once. But multiplayer games or games as a service, you will pay until you get bored, and they already make billions every year, and they know there's more billions, so we're cancerous capitalism for the win yay i have no hope no hope at all for the triple a industry their their game industry there is nothing there is no hope for it we're just going to keep going until it's well it's horrible the only hope we have is the indies now now an indie studio has shown that they can make a triple a game I guess you'd call them more of a double A game, so thumbs up on that. <laughs> Here's hoping, because man, it's just bad right now. Such is life. Well, what I'm going to do now, though, is I am going to open up the community tab on my Chrome page. There we are. Not my Chrome page. I use Chrome and I'm opening up the community tab so that I can thank 20 to 25 kind commenters for having left me comments. Now, I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read the comments after I'm finished recording and editing and rendering and uploading. But for right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. It doesn't matter the content of the comment. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. And if I mispronounce your name, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We are horrible at names. I'm better than many, but not wonderful. So here's hoping, though, that I can get at least partway through them. So first off, there is Devlin Doe, D-O-E-E. -E. Thank you so very, very much. And Gabby Vial Vialpando. I think, I hope it's pronounced close to that. Thank you very, very much. And then there is uh, Cody Linux. Thank you very, very much. And then we have Dracoak, 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 probably Dracoak. Thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. Jay Robinson, thank you very, very much. Pennywise, <laughs> well, howdy, howdy, howdy. And then there is Max Hedrum, son of a gun. Gosh, I. Never watched Max Headroom, but I remember when it was on TV. And Holly Starbuck, thank you very, very much. Anthony Ornelas, greatly appreciated. Daniel O'Shea, thank you. Thumbs up on that. Kibust, Kaboost, two. I am not sure, but thank you very, very much. Moonlight Morg, greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. 
and Nurul Islam overall. I know I'm nowhere close, but thank you very, very much. Uh, let's see, it's this one. So, Feral Slow Talker, thank you very much. Steelcast Dream, greatly appreciated. And then Edits on Toast, Son of a Gun, thank you very, very much. Teodoro Staniso? Stanis? Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that properly, but thank you very, very much. And then Flamer Awesome TV 2, thank you very, very much. Elazar Screams. Oh, my apologies, snorting. Thank you very, very much. And then Fallen Angel 8X, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Zavikins, thank you very, very much. And then Justina Aquavita Metz, thank you for everything. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you very, very much. And then Aaron the Shredder, thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. Midnight Story, thank you. Greatly appreciated. And Smashed Cube Gaming, thank you very, very much. Every single one of you. Oh, my arms are tired, tired, tired. I don't have enough THC for proper pain control, so what little I have is enough to keep it from hurting too much, but not enough that I can just use my arms forever. Thumbs up. But again, thank you all so very, very much. You get me out of my head, into the world, and that is a very good thing. There's not a good landscape behind these eyes and between these ears. Not, not lately. Not for the past, oh, probably like 30 years. So really, I can't point to a time when it was good. In fact, I can't really remember a time when it was good. Oh well, such is life. I do remember sitting uh, one time. Ugh. I have... I have to use dental adhesive for my lower plate, otherwise it just flops around. One of the problems with dental adhesive is it's made out of a, like corn syrup and corn starch, which means as it gets warm, it slowly melts and it fills your mouth with a, a film, a slime of corn starch and such. And so I'm dealing with this super thick saliva that's flavored, well, neutrally but it's just yeah it's it's pretty gross but it's either glue the things in and that's why they have a, a market for the stuff or hurt yourself because I have hurt myself trying to eat but oh shucks what was I talking about I went and blasted off into parts unknown and I was gonna tell you about how I even though my grandmother died when I was like seven years old I do have vague memories of her, like sitting on her lap when she was reading comic books to me. And I must have learned how to read at a very early age. In fact, I know I did. I was a very early reader. But I remember her pronouncing the word Brian as brain and reading the word Brian and then listening to her as she mispronounced the word, one of those memories. Thumbs up for that. If you could check out my links down below, that would be greatly appreciated. I got like Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+, my blog, which I haven't done anything in for ages, so I wouldn't blame you for not going to the blog, but hey, hey. My thanks to everybody who has donated to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron. I hurt my wrist when just now clicking it around. It was clicking, making actual clicks, and now it really hurts. That, that's joyous. Uh, yay. <laughs> If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon non cop patron, that would be very awesome. My thanks to everybody who has. Thank you. You're a beautiful and awesome people. It is greatly appreciated. But if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes, deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very, very much. And if you could toss me a like, that would be greatly appreciated. I do overuse the word appreciate, but I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool. But my personality has rubbed a lot of people wrong throughout my entire life. And if you didn't like my videos, I I understand. If you don't want to subscribe to my channel, I understand. But if you are down with it, I'll do my darndest to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of my time. Uh, an average lifespan of American man, 74 years, I turned 55 in less than two weeks. Ugh. Dental slime. Anyway, though. Ah. Ugh. 
it's horrific and nightmarish. But you take care. Have a great day today. Hopefully I'll have more done today. Hopefully it's a better time inside my head. I'll see you.